Andrew McCart, <laughs> IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the newly crowned Commonwealth Featherweight champion, Nathaniel Collins. Nathaniel, just, uh, I've just witnessed a great little spa there between you and uh, Mohamed Wasim. Uh, yeah. You've got a fight yourself coming up in a month, man. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Um, we've been getting good sparring all week. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. It's good. You don't really get world class sparring on your doorstep like that. And, um, and it certainly was world class sparring. So it's great preparations for. Um, the both is out in a month. So. Debbie, Wads has got his fight out in Dubai. You've not got the luxury of going out somewhere like Dubai. Where are you fighting? Hey, I'm fighting in Bolton. Sadly. Bolton, there you go. <laughs> Bolton to Dubai, yeah, but it doesn't matter. A wee bit of contrast. Exactly, exactly. Just go back, take me back to that Commonwealth title win. I mean, you got the, the third round stoppage, I believe, against a, an opponent who was vastly more experienced than you. Yeah. Um, just talk to me about that fight. Um, well, we we just signed with Sam, and we were actually weren't expecting it, and. Um, obviously I'd been out of the ring 18 months and Sam had said like we'll get you in for a 10 rounder for maybe an IBF international or an IBF European so we were preparing for the 10 rounds and then a few weeks before he said you know what you want you want to go for a commonwealth and I don't ever shy away from a challenge so 12 rounds was was right up mm -hmm. my street and um, we prepared for it and we went in and done the job and yeah the guy was was a lot more experienced he had 22 stoppages um, 29 wins or something so um, it wasn't a dummy. Well, mm -hmm. we didn't think it was a dummy till he came over, but um, it was a great fight. So there's been nothing, the Commonwealth champion. I mean, you, you've got defence coming up next month against another tough uh, African from South Africa. I'm, I'm going to try to pronounce his surname. Is it? Um, you, you, fact, I've, you do I've fight. No, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no just, idea. This is a, a defence of the title and stuff like that. But what kind of? Have you, I know Joe Ham's behind me, senior. He's behind me. Have you, have you seen much of this of this guy going forward? I know he's undefeated, so yeah. there is that aspect of it. Oh, yeah. um, but have you seen much of him? I've not seen anything of him. Um, he's he's eleven and zero with five knockouts. So again, a, a decent opponent, um, and he's he's quite difficult to find anything about him on YouTube or anywhere. So I'm kind of going in blind. But I prepare for everything to my fullest so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter who's in front of me when it comes to it. As um, long as you're prepared. Exactly. Definitely. That is what it is and, and anything can happen in a fight you have to have multiple game plans you need to be able to switch up yourself and mm -hmm. um, I can switch it up going forward or going back so. The next logical step after the Commonwealth title is that British title. Yep. Um, we spoke a little bit off camera I was asking you I was phone names at you and you were telling me this that the next thing just break it down the sort of path that you might have to take to get your hands on that British title. Yeah so um, the board uh, have put out eliminators so there's me v Raza Hamza who is I believe he's for down Manchester way I know he's coach Haroon so mm -hmm. um, I, I know them pretty well we see them quite a lot because they've fought up in Glasgow the last few times mm -hmm. so um, I, I know I'm seeing him box um, so I'm looking forward to that fight if it happens or when it happens and on the opposite side of that kind of draw is Louis Lynn v Nick Ball um, so that's they've both been put up by the board so hopefully they go ahead uh, I don't know, obviously Louis fought um, another one of Huron's fighters, Amon, mm -hmm. just there and got a big cut over his eye, so I don't know what will happen on his side or um, what the plans are, but if we could go straight for the British it would be great, um, rather than just going to eliminate well, and stuff. behind my back, <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it, was it Joe or Danny? Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, I'm not a grass, I don't know what exactly, happened. Exactly, exactly, I'm not a grass. <laughs> uh, I, the, the British, though, what would that mean for you winning that? Um, you see loads of people all the time going, oh, I want the British, beautiful belt, that's that and the next thing, British would mean everything to me, like, I don't really care, it's just another stepping stone, I just want world honours, um, and it's another another step in the, that direction. If the British never happened then we went further on to the world honours, I wouldn't care. Well, George um, Taylor did, he did I, the British, he was straight, you know what I mean? And I, that, that's kind of like, I, I've never been like, oh, up here, I want the British, mm -hmm. oh, the British is this and that, it, it, whatever, um, I want a world title and that's plain and simple, isn't it, so... Well, that's it. That's a very, very good answer. I mean, because talking about world titles, right now in the UK, in your division, the featherweight division, I mean, you mentioned domestically where you are in that 10-0, 11-0, 8-0 yeah. level. You mentioned some fighters who are going for the British. But when you look at the featherweight division right now in, in, in the UK with guys like Josh Warrington, yeah. Lee Wood, who's WBA beat Kanzu, then you've got Kid Galahad, Jazza Dickens is there. Yeah. I mean, right now at that world level, there's some serious talent, not out in the States, not in Mexico, but here in the UK. So... How excited are you about that? Because who knows, it's, like crazy boxing is a crazy old sport. Oh, 100%. Man. It's jumping. You've got Galahad, um, Isaac Lowe's got mm, Isaac Lowe, yeah. an eliminator to fight him. So, 
you never know what could happen. Anybody could do anything. Somebody could get injured. You could get a call up at any point. Like, I stay ready. So, I imagine somebody was just to jump out and you are there to take that spot. I would be there to take that spot against any of the guys. I, I don't care. So, um, I know Mick Collin and Lee Wood have got it going on. Um, obviously, Galahad might fight as it low. So, it seems to be staying in the UK, mm-hmm. more or less. And here I am in the UK, so... you got to... <laughs> I, <laughs> I, wait to the camera. I, 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 <laughs> Daniel Collins. I mean, again, like I said to you, I mean... The domestic level at the world elite level here in the UK is, is stacked. Yeah. And I know, like, for fighters and stuff like that, you, you see how I fight whoever's in front of me and stuff like that. But is it not sometimes when a fighter looks at the way that guy fights or that guy fights, oh, that would be a good fight for the fan? I'd like to fight him. He might be an easier option. He might be a difficult option. Do you, do you see any of these guys at that, that level in the top 10 that you wanna <laughs> you would like prefer rather than. Not necessarily. Like, I don't think any of them are easy options. Mm-hmm. They're, they're all in their own way. You know, Leewood can bang. Kid Galahad can box, he's he's slick, he's classy, so there's nobody there that I'm like, oh, I want him or I want him. Mm. Either way or any way you go to get a world title, it's going to be a tough fight. I believe I'm the best, I believe I can beat these guys, so not, they might be looking at you thinking, oh, Who's this guy? he's like, what, there's an easy defence, and that's mm. great because I'll come in and I'll take a title right off him, and it's, it's easy work, isn't it? So. Is that the confidence you've got? Aye. That's, that's what much. you need, with that, that Joe Ham oozing that in you, the confidence. <laughs> You should have seen me a few years ago. I never had any of that about me, um, and it's been brought out. And now, like, I'm going from strength to strength. Um, not everybody in Scotland, barely anybody in Scotland wins the Commonwealth. Josh got it, Lee got mm. it. Um, who else? Like, n- mm. nobody else is really getting it. So it shows the level I'm at as well. Um, and it's a shame because I feel like people aren't really paying any attention now, but they will soon. So well, that's listen, what that is. IFL viewers are going to. I'll be putting this out so you. Hopefully your Instagram followers, your Twitter followers will rock it after this one. But have you got a message for these guys that, that are above you in the rankings right now? Because like I said, you, you are quiet. People might not know who the Commonwealth champion is at Featherweight or some guy from up in Scotland. Because again, up here, it's, we don't get the recognition up here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As, as down, from down south and all that sort of stuff. But have you got a message for these guys coming? coming. <laughs> two, three, two, three, two, three, four fights down the line. You keep winning. You're 12-0, and 13-0. And, and we've seen... Guys at 13, 14, 15, or 16, or they get that, that opportunity to fight for an interim world title or the world title. So you're not yeah. far away, maybe no. 18 months away from That's that. So I'm you've got a throw away. Exactly. Yeah. You've got they call me the nightmare for a reason. The nightmare's coming. <laughs> it's not just because it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Nathaniel, thank you so much thank uh, you, for doing mate. this Eiffel Tea. Listen, Eiffel Tea, I enjoyed the spa there. It was very. It was good, man. Waz always comes and brings it. We are so. having a great time the last few weeks, so... Break. Aye. Remember to break, right? When no. Waz <laughs> says break, you break, all right? And that's everything. Nathaniel, thanks great, again, thank my you, man. Mate. And uh, listen, good luck on your, your fight in the November. Cheers, Thanks, thank my you. man.